today we will review Coolpad Dazen 1 Android smartphone. The cost of this device is Rs. 7000 and it is exclusively sold on Snapdeal. The specification of this device is it has a 5 inch IPS HD display, it has a 1.2 GHz quad core Snapdragon 410 processor, it has a 2 GB RAM. The internal storage is 8 GB, it has an Android 4.4 KitKat OS, at the front it has a 5 megapixel camera and at the back it has an 8 megapixel camera with autofocus. It uh, runs on 2500mAh battery and it is a dual sim phone with LTE support. Uh, the device runs on a custom UI uh, which is very much similar to MI UI. It is uh, very fast in output. You can arrange your application in the form of folders. It is also very easy to customize. The screen is quite vibrant. The design as you can see uh, it is not a very thick phone. Uh, it has the regular uh, type of layout where you have this volume rockers on the left side and power on the right. Uh, there is an audio jack on the top and uh, micro USB port on the bottom. Uh, there are three cap uh, capacitive touch keys uh, at the bottom side. It has a removable back cover. Uh, the device has a 2500mAh battery, uh, this is the battery of Coolpad Dazen 1. Uh, it has uh, the 12, the SIM slots are inside with the micro SD card slot, you can expand up to 32GB on this. Coolpad Dazen 1 is a uh, decent looking phone, it does not look like an uh, entry level device. Uh, this device gives you an IPS HD display where you get a maximum resolution of 1280 by 720 the Video output on this is uh, quite nice. Also, you can easily read your text, SMS. The Cool Life UI on this device makes it very fast in output. There are a lot of things uh, which are removed due to which it gets a performance boost. It is simple to customize. Uh, the most of the features are same, similar to other Android phones. Like for in order to change uh, the screen settings, you have to tap on the home screen for some time, and you will get different options on the bottom. Uh, you can apply different effects, you can uh, change the wallpaper, you can add a widget. Under the preference section, you get more options. Like you can choose a sc uh, lock screen layout. The screen uh, quality, you can see uh, text are quite clear and visible. Also, the touch screen is very fast responsive. Coolpad Dazen X1 also has a nice loudspeaker quality. For video, it is obviously uh, IPS display is very nice, but with that also it has a uh, loudspeaker. Like uh, a few uh, ringtone sample, I'm going to play. So you can see uh, the audio volume is quite high. Performance wise, Coolpad Dazen 1 is a decent phone. You can see the score it uh, got on uh, this benchmarking tool. Uh, it has a 64 bit quad core processor and 2 GB RAM, which is enough to run different kind of application and games. Also, Adreno 306 GPU gives you gaming Simple support games also. like uh, Angry Birds, Subway Surfer, Boom Beach will work uh, quite nicely on this. Uh, also, the device support uh, high-end games, but it has a heating problem. The back panel of this device gets hot uh, really fast when you're taking photos or when you're playing games. Uh, we will test this game. This is Marvel's Heroes.
5 megapixel front camera that gives you decent photos when you have enough uh, light uh, in the room uh, for example if you're taking photos in sunlight the image will be much brighter compared to indoors also the the same thing is applicable to the back camera also so there are few photos uh, that i have taken from the back camera by applying different kind of filters through camera 360 app the problem is with autofocus if you shake your hand while taking a photo the image will be blurry otherwise you can take quite uh, nice images through different filters like hdr or using different type of uh, modes that are available in third party camera apps You can see uh, the image, this is an HDR image. Coolpad Dazzle 1 works really nice with different applications. It is a good multitasking device. Uh, the 64 bit Snapdragon 410 processor offers a decent performance, and 2GB RAM is more than enough to run different applications. Dazzle 1 has a 2500 mAh battery. The battery life is good uh, if you're not pushing the device much for gaming and watching videos and uh, on a common usage like where your internet is on uh, you are uh, using uh, headphones on this device uh, you can get uh, battery life up to five to six hours easily but uh, if you're also playing game and watching videos on this device and using the speaker the battery life will be reduced Dazen one is a kind of a good start for cool pad under the budget section the positive aspect of this device is it has a good design it is good in performance it has a decent camera and decent battery life well the negative aspect is uh, there are some UI glitches like uh, sometimes you get a few errors uh, stuck on the home screen and uh, while taking uh, while using the camera and flash the back panel heats a lot and the same issue occur when you're playing games That's all for now for more review tutorial news and updates on latest technology visit techrena.in. Thank you. Have a nice day